Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be a really exciting video for me and that's because we're going to be talking about the new Jeffree Star V-Gloss glosses. Now this video is pretty exciting for me because I did receive all of these through PR, which is going to be my first PR package from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I'm really excited that I have the opportunity to get all of these products and review them for you guys. I'll keep it really short, so let's just jump into everything. I will be doing some lip swatches at the end. If you want to go ahead and skip towards that, then you can skip the review if you'd like to. So I'll make sure to put a timestamp down below. So this is Jeffree Star's first line of glosses. He's never released glosses before, so this is his first formula and the first shades that he's releasing to the public. There's going to be 18 shades total, and there's also two different finishes. There's Glitter Fantasy and Extreme Shine. I will be doing some swatches here pretty soon so you guys can see the difference between the two. 12 of the lip glosses will be Glitter Fantasy, which obviously will have a lot of glitter in it. And then another six of the glosses will be Extreme Shine. So they're really shiny, but they don't have any glitter in them. So here's an example right here. As you can see, this one right here has a lot of glitter in it, and then this black shade right here doesn't have any glitter in it. So as you can see, the new gloss containers are pretty similar to the concealer, just a little bit different. This container actually reminds me of the Space Needle. I don't know if you've seen it in Seattle before, but I feel like it's really similar looking. I think it's cool. Each lip gloss will have 4.5 milliliters of product in it, and they will all retail for $18 a piece. So if you open up the lip gloss inside, it has a flat and long Dofla applicator, which is intended to allow for a full application on the lip with just one coating. And I have to say, it definitely helps. I mean, I don't say it's not really like a huge difference, um, but I think it works very well. It does have a sweet creme brulee smell, kind of vanilla-y, but um, it's not too strong, it's not too overbearing. It does not have a taste though, which I mean it might sound a little bit childish of me, but when I wear lip gloss I kind of like it to have kind of a taste to it because it seems like when I wear lip glosses I tend to kind of get it in my mouth a little bit more than I would any other sort of lip product. So I kind of like it when there's a little bit of taste, but that's really not like an issue at all. It doesn't taste bad, it just doesn't taste like creme brulee. The smell is not really overbearing. It's pretty much faint and soft. It's not like there's a creme brulee sitting right under your nose all day. However, it might make you want to go pick up one. So I personally am not a huge lip gloss fiend. I don't own a lot and I don't wear a lot. I do occasionally from time to time, but I just feel like lip glosses are really sticky and I honestly prefer a dry lip product just locked to my lips. Even a creamy lipstick is okay, but glosses, I feel like my hair gets stuck in it all the time and it's just really annoying. But as a person that's not into glosses, I have to say I do like these. They really feel very good on the lips. They're not really sticky. They're not super tacky. They feel pretty good. The lip glosses are not fully pigmented, which it's intended to be this way so that you could wear it sheer and alone or on top of a lip product to make that lip even more bold. Right now I am actually wearing Jeffree Star's Family Jewels Liquid Lipstick, which was just added to his permanent collection. And then I'm also wearing the, what's it called? Crystal Climax uh, Lip Gloss. I think that they work both ways just fine, but I would probably more lean towards wearing all these lip glosses on top of a lip to make it more dark and bold. This collection will be available for purchase on May 31st, which is this Friday. You can pick them up on Jeffree Star's website starting at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you have one near you, you can also go to a local Morphe store and pick them up there because they will have them at the store and ready to purchase on Friday. He did also add a bunch of new liquid lipsticks to his permanent collection. All of these new lipsticks were limited edition and his fans said, hey, 
we need them back they're that good so he added them to his permanent collection and you can pick them up i will not be doing swatches for those but i will list all of the names down below in the description so if you see one that you wanted you never got or you need a backup it's now permanent and you can go ahead and get it all right, now that I've gone ahead and gone over all of the basics for the new gloss collection, I'm going to do lip swatches for each of them so you guys can see what it looks like on the lips alone. Billy. <laughs> <laughs> 